Let's discuss some rumored Marvel Legends. I say this all the time. The best thing about being a Marvel Legends fan is the speculation on what Legends we're going to be getting. We've been doing this since 2002, Familia. Ever since that Wave 1 with Toad and Iron Man and Thor. Mm, it's part of the fun of being a Marvel Legends stand. Now, I got this list set to me by multiple people throughout the course of a couple weeks. And I was like, well, whatever. There's always like a list floating around there. Is there any merit to it? And turns out there is a little bit of merit on it because Rom was on this list and Rom was just announced at San Diego Comic-Con. So right there, I was like, okay, let's, let, let, let's take a look at this list. Are some of these things likely? Because there were some on here that I was like, hey, it, is it really likely? Are they really going to revisit this figure or do this figure? Are they really going to have that approach? So let's dive into this rumored list that's sort of floating around the internet. It's, again, Familia, take this all with a grain of salt. Once more, the joys of collecting Marvel Legends. It's just a speculation. All we're doing here is speculating. We can, we can agree or disagree if this is a, a good list or a bad list, whatever. It doesn't matter. I just want to talk Legends because we are obsessed. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Power of X-Men here on the YouTube. I'm only publishing this episode on the YouTube page. I don't, I have no idea how to grow a YouTube channel as it turns out. Podcasting is easier. Maybe I just have a face for radio, you know, but um, we are on Instagram at Power of X-Men. We have a really great community there and we have a really great podcast at Power of X-Men on all podcast platforms. So without further ado, let's dive into this upcoming rumored Marvel Legends list. And the first one, is a two-pack black suit warpath an x23 i you know when they say black suit obviously they mean the x-force like chris yost era x-force we've already gotten these figures in in their x-force outfits so i'm kind of curious why we would be revisiting them not only did we get them in their x-force outfits they were really well received already in their x-force outfits so i'm kind of curious why we're revisiting these characters um in these in these iterations because the war path was absolutely was beautiful it was part of a two-pack he looked really great. We all like really enjoyed him. We had no qualms with him. I much preferred his normal, you know, I, at the time I called it the rise and fall of the Shi'ar, you know, the rise and fall of the Shi'ar warpath. But that's the, 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 the warpath I choose to display. But X-23, we already have a really good Marvel Legends X-23. And she came out, what was it? pre-pandemic 2019 2018 i believe 2018 as part of the sasquatch wave i loved her great figure i don't know if we need to revisit her that seems kind of odd to me again i i saw this list and i was like haha why are they gonna do that this is gonna lead into the third figure on this list which is the uncanny x-force archangel it's odd to me that we would be revisiting this 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 era i mean again we're going back to astonishing x-men so it's not without the scope of, of what they're putting out there to go sort of back to like the mid aughts but you know uncanny x-force archangel i'm always going to remember the 2012 san diego comic-con three-pack exclusive with wolverine and psylocke i waited in line for that i waited in line for that uncanny x-force box set <laughs> i don't like waiting in lines at all but that was wow those figures were great what a time to be a marvel legends collector that's when things started swinging upwards to where we're at today so i have a fond memory i still have that archangel i still have him on display I took him out the other day because we got the marvel legends angel deluxe pack which is at target now it's a peg warmer at target it's insane to me that in jersey city that figure would be a peg warmer because it looks so good it's such a great figure but 
I took him out. He still holds up, and I believe they repurposed him for the Rocket Raccoon Wave. We got a deluxe GameStop exclusive Archangel with like the multiple like heads, like you know, with his long flowy hair, the death head. So I just feel that this iteration of Archangel, we don't really need to revisit. Just just my two cents on it. But listen, if collectors have missed their missed the chance to get these and they're so expensive on the secondary market. In fact, I don't know how much are these on the secondary market let's take a quick look here okay so laura is about 25 dollars plus five dollars should be whoa for two for wolverine laura and x23 x force laura 200 dollars together damn that is insanely overpriced but it looks like just her by herself we're looking at about 20 ish dollars plus like six five dollars for shipping i don't think that's that's not too bad in my opinion all right, let's see for Warpath. Let's see, let's see, Warpath. Warpath is $108. Uh, $259 because he was part of the true two-pack with Deadpool. So he's going for $259, it would appear. Again, I have the Rise and Fall version of it, like the more modern Warpath. That's the one I choose to display. Okay, and then let's just see out of curiosity, Archangel. Let's see how much Archangel is going for. Archangel's going for 280 All right, so with the exception of Laura, they're pretty overpriced on the secondary market. <laughs> so, fine, re-release them. Let fans have another chance at these figures. I, I Listen, I have no qualms with them other than I've already got had them. I'll probably put them on, you know, I'll probably buy them and update my display. But, uh, you know, these, these first three figures, I'm kind of like, eh, that's okay. Similarly, with the fourth one, we have Xavier in his green jumpsuit. And this is obviously like the Jim Lee era Xavier. When I think of this green jumpsuit, I think of the X-Men animated series season two when they are in the Savage Land and Xavier can magically walk again. <laughs> he can just walk again and he's wearing that green jumpsuit. You know, we just got the War Scroll Xavier from 275. I'm getting X-Men 275, which also was in X-Men 97. We're getting a re-release of Xavier in the hover chair. That's it's fine. I, Xavier's having a minute here. I would have done Fatal Attractions Wolverine when he shuts down Magneto's mind. Oh, that would have just been chef's kiss up. Perfect, perfect Xavier to put out there. But listen, you're going to get a Xavier green jumpsuit. What I have here is that they're reusing the West Coast Hank Pym sculpt. Great. I, it's it's very hard for me to skip on a legend, you know, but Xavier is one of those characters that I feel like the, the Xavier in the hover chair. That's perfect for me. I don't need any other. That's a definitive. It's a great sculpt, a great hover chair. I always I say this all the time. They can never top themselves. I'm sure they can. But as of right now, I'm very happy with that Xavier in the hover chair. In fact, I may reorder that one. All right. This is where the list starts getting really good and interesting. So coming up, we have a Marvel Legends Generation X husk. Oh. This, I mean, a lot of people online are kit bashing this. Like, Mini Made It Pedro obviously loves this. Michelle, so many folks out there love Husk. I love Paige Guthrie quite a bit. Fun fact she was supposed to be in a wave three of the Toy Biz Generation X wave, and it was canceled and she was scrapped. Oh, it's so upsetting. But she was supposed to first appear there in a figure format, and now, like, 25 years later 25 26 years later we are getting her hopefully in a marvel legends format listen we already got chamber we already got m give us husk and in fact give us a penance <laughs> please give us penance give us mondo give us skin give us the entire generation x team give us jubilee with that haircut oh i love her with like the bangs and the longer hair generation x is a comic book I think for most people who grew up with the New Mutants, Generation X was like the next new class, right? And I grew up in like fourth, fifth, sixth grade reading Generation X. And they were just so cool. They were like the teenagers I wanted to hang out with. I've said this before on the podcast. Jubilee was 
really at that age where she was just a couple years older than me when I was growing up where she felt like the cool older sister. So I, I could never really bond with her. I looked up to her similarly with the entire generation X class. I just looked up to them and I wanted to be them. I just want generation X represented in Marvel legends. They are very deserving. We all want them. Give us Paige Guthrie Husk. She is the most in demand right now. People are using that poor Carol Danvers, Brie Larson head <laughs> for her. Come on, Hasbro, please let this be true. We want Husk. We want Husk. This next one, this next one on the list, I, 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 I'm I, foaming at the mouth if this is true, but it's Fabian Cortez in his Acolyte outfit. I love Fabian Cortez so much. He, he thinks he's Spaniard royalty. I mean, hello, like... <laughs> Just, he's so deliciously evil, unapologetically evil. Everything that I love out of a villain, delusional, self-grandizing. Oh, I love it so much. And, and obviously, soy cubano. My family has traces back into northern Spain. Ah, I love Fabian Cortez. He is such a great character. Obviously, the costume... I would want the costume I would want would be his Krakoan age outfit. I get it. He's not going to get that sword Krakoan outfit. That's okay. I'm not terribly upset about it. I would, I, if you're going to do Marvel legends, Fabian Cortez, you have to do him in his acolyte outfit. He is a die hard follower of Magneto. Give us, give us Fabian Cortez in this outfit. I hope it's true. I really, I hope a beyond hope that this is true i really want cortez but it is curious to me that they are doing a fabian cortez before they're even doing an exodus hmm. exodus is definitely one of those characters that people are just dying for like why don't we have exodus so listen for me dayspring personally getting a fabian cortez i am so happy for i want fabian cortez but where is Exodus begs the question. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Where, where's Exodus? All right, the next one. I don't have too much to say. It's original Banshee. I, I am curious why we're going the route of this original Banshee. I get it. The all new, all different, giant sized X-Men, right? They want to sort of complete that team. And that's okay. But the Strike Force box set Banshee is incredible. You do have Chamber and... And M out there I was about to say husk. Maybe husk. Let's 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 operate on the assumption that we are getting husk. You have three of the Generation X members. You're going to release another Banshee. Release the Generation X Banshee. Oh, and if you give him his like John Lennon sunglasses as an alternate head, <laughs> I would be so happy. I just I love the Generation X Banshee. But looking at this list and being told it's original Banshee, well, then. Uh, I guess that's fine. I guess I give him multiple heads, right? Because he looks very different. He also is possessed early on when we first meet him. So maybe he's going to be an alternate head situation more than just a screaming head. Let's see what they get. I am in the minority here, Familia, and I know a lot of people who have entered the hobby don't have this, but the Marvel Legends Banshee that we got when Hasbro took over the wave back with uh, Annihilus, I thought that was a fine Banshee. Mm, an admirable attempt <laughs> at Banshee, right? He, he didn't incite the anger or disappointment that the Emma Frost from that wave sort of conjured for, for many of us collectors. But fine, yeah, I, he's overdue. We do need a new original Banshee. I just, I wonder, has that ship sailed? Would folks prefer a Generation X Banshee or an original Banshee? Familia, you tell us. Slide into our DMs at Power of X-Men and let us know, would you want to see the original Banshee or do you want to see them go full throttle on Generation X and give us a Banshee via, via there? But, all right. This is where a lot of the ranting is going to come in, so you're going to have to forgive me. <laughs> so, we are going to get original X-Factor, Jean Grey, and Cyclops. Now, it says here Cyclops will be the blue and yellow, and that's fine for me because we already got the white and blue. That, the, the costume of him in white and blue is my preferred Scott Summers 
So him in the blue and yellow, I'm fine with it. You know, diversify your Cyclops palette. In fact, we, we have a baby Nathan already via the X-Men 97 Wave 2. So repackage him with a Bibba Nathan. I've always said this. I think the biggest missed opportunity here would be doing a three-pack with a Madeline Pryor and make her a fan channel exclusive. I, I'd be curious why those numbers don't work on the back end, why they wouldn't do something like that. I think if you do an Inferno three-pack, X-Factor, Gene, and Cyclops, and a comics-accurate Madeline Pryor, and throw in Baby Nathan, which I'm sure there's a whole factory out there with all these like Baby Nathans there, <laughs> like and and Hulk and Baby Nightcrawler, right? Like, all the little baby models, like just repaint them, put them out there. I, I'd be curious as to why it doesn't work on the back end, because that just seems like a no-duh slam dunk. But we are getting X-Factor. According to the, this list, we will be getting an X-Factor Cyclops in the blue and gold now gene x factor gene which is the version all fans want there there is one like when you talk to gene gray stance and they're like we want a marvel legends x factor gene it is gene in the red and the yellow we love that red and yellow costume in fact the 1991 card of her that was one of my first x-men cards that i sort of traded i got through some older kid in my neighborhood I love seeing that gene. However, this list says it's the green and yellow one ah, with the skull cap. Ah! <laughs> I, it's a deal breaker for me. And I, I'm not speaking for all Jean Grey fans there because God knows the internet in 2024, there's always someone out there who's going to disagree and that's fine. But I will say the majority of us gene stands have really preferred the red and yellow one. That's the one we would like to see. They're going to give us a green and yellow one, according to this list. At least an alternate head, please. Like, without the, the cap on her face. Like, I, I would just want two of them. Again, it, it seems, oh, it's like we're so close. It's like with Banshee, we're so close. So close. But it's not the versions we want. And listen, I get it. Hasbro, they had to keep us coming back and wanting more. I'm just tired of always wanting more, right? It's it's kind of like when we got the Walgreens Emma Frost when she was in the all or excuse me, yeah it's the all new Bendis era Uncanny X Men costume and we were like ah but we really want a modern Emma and, and thankfully eventually we got we got the Hellfire Gala or the Hellfire Club box set and the Astonishing Emma but we were still like ah! at the time we left years wanting wanting more so that's what I'm gonna say here it's like we finally have arrived at x factor and we're getting green and yellow oh such a misstep i think such a misstep for me as a crazy gene stand you know what? i'm not making any apologies i am a crazy gene gray stand i am a very very crazy gene gray stand and i'm telling you right now this is gonna be take her out of the box take a couple photos and then she's going straight into a drawer it's not x factor in the red and yellow, the one I prefer. I'm sorry, I'm going to be that bratty about it, but that's fine. If there are people out there who love it, we're going to display it proudly. All the power to them. Go. I, I say this all the time, Familia. Go buy and support these legends. Go watch the MCU movies. Go watch these shows. It's we got to support them. You know, we want Marvel to keep turning out these IPs. So my conscience is clear right now for being a crazy gene stand, but no. No, I do not want the green and yellow one at all. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sure she'll be a lovely figure. I'm sure she will be beautiful. Light years and anything I'm conjuring up in my mind, but just not my preferred costume. This would be like if they released a Nate Gray figure, right? Instead of the first appearance age of Apocalypse Nate, they would have given us like Jesus Nate. I would have been like, why? Although I would take a Jesus Nate now that we have the OG Nate, but that's all I want. Nate in his X Factor costume, the the one that Cyclops gave him, which is an X Factor costume. That's I I would take that one, <laughs> and his X Men Revolution era one as well. I would take all the Nate figures in the world. But okay, so X Factor Jean Grey in the green and yellow, Cyclops in the blue and yellow, and then here it says a new built a figure with a comic spinner rack and bath pieces to build a spinner rack and have little plastic comics with QR codes on the back, redeeming them for a real digital comic. I have 
absolutely no feels on that. <laughs> I have no feels on it. Sure. I, I keep thinking like, what are they going to do for build a figures? Because, you know, I kind of, I'm like here, like what would be a good build a figure these days? They've kind of covered a lot of territory. Same with the Haslabs. You know, when they were like, oh, we're not going to do a Haslab this year. I was kind of like, hmm, fair, fair. Because what other oversized figures can they do? I'm sure we can sound off on the comments, of course, but that will actually fund, that will actually meet these quotas that, that people are going to back. I, it, it is a question mark, question mark. I don't know. So I think their new approach with doing these uh, deluxe premium figures that you have a pre-order window for, and, and once you pre-order them, that's it. You know, this is your only chance to pre-order them and you got them. I I like that approach. I'm gonna do it for Dragon Man. Out of principle, I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-order Dragon Man. First of all, I think Dragon Man's a cool character. It's a nice over. I think Dan was was showing it on an Insta story. It may have been Dan, Ryan, or Dwight, or, or one of the Marvel Legends influencers out there. They were holding the model for Dragon Man. I was like, that's beautiful. Absolutely, that's great. I I want to support the business in the right direction. And I think those premium made I, would you call them made to order right you, you have to fund it within this pre-order window and whatever gets pre-ordered is what gets funded i hope it takes off i hope it's great and i would love to see more characters like that but you know that does beg the question of what are they doing now with built the figures and you know if you want to give us mini comic spinner rack I, that's great i think we i, I think we need to sort of move towards diorama sets like give us like the war room almost for <laughs> give us a war room give us a war room for for the x-men give us cerebro like a build a fi I, I build a figure cerebro i think that would be incredible build a figure cerebro right there i, I was about to say the end the blackbird <laughs> And one's like, no, not the Blackbird. I posted one said the Haslab should have been a Blackbird. Someone came at me, oh my gosh, in comments, like sat, and, and they were not wrong. They were not wrong when they're like, that would be too expensive, and this is why, and here's all. Of, and I was like, well, listen, you clearly have a better grasp on the budget team for that than I do. So, mm, mm, I have nothing left to say to you other than like maybe you could have been nicer saying this in your comments. But I get it, I can be. I, if I have just the right amount of Cabernet in me, I can be a bit of a tool replied to comments as well. So I get it. I get why the internet can be angry sometimes. And the way we sort of conceptualize voices in our head is very different on both sides. Maybe someone's trying to be nice, but you hear them mean. And maybe someone's trying to be nice, but you respond to them mean. All right, Familia, slide into our DMs. Hit those comments below, the five of you who actually watch these videos. Let us know, are you happy with this list? What figures do you want to see? Again, where's Exodus? Exodus before Fabian. And listen, I love Fabian Cortez. Again, I love Fabian. Give me, I, I prefer to have Fabian, but it is odd to me that we're not getting Exodus before Fabian. It's it's ludicrous to me. So slide into our DMs at Power of X-Men. I'm getting much better at responding to DMs. I switched some of the filters and now all the messages just appear in my inbox, thankfully. But um, slide into our DMs at Power of X-Men. Leave comments below and let's chat as a community.